holiday in downtown Camera. We're looking good this morning as we wake up and head out to 72 right now in Chattanooga, 70 in Cleveland. We did have a couple of showers during the overnight, and we may see one or two showers or storms popping up as we move through the day today. So even this morning, one or two showers or storms may pop up as you're heading back to school. Uh, 71 degrees by 7 a.m., 86 by noon, by 3 p.m. as you're wrapping up the first day of school. 90 degrees. It is going to be hot. It's going to be humid, and the chance of rain today, 30 percent. A couple of isolated storms producing heavy rain, lightning, a possibility as we move through the morning and into the afternoon hours. Not much in the way of fog out there, maybe a little bit in some of the higher elevations. No pollen of note either. Pollen counts in the low category and will remain that way through the rest of the week. Very humid today, though. A few storms, very possible. We may see one or two popping up and then hot and muggy as we head into our Thursday. Well, here's our radar right now. You can see the storms off to the west, but as we move through the morning, the next couple of hours, one or two may pop up around, especially with sunrise uh, pop up around the Tennessee Valley. So we'll keep an eye on that for you. They'll be isolated, nothing widespread. And I think our Viper cast does a pretty good job of, uh, of backing that up. You're not going to see much here. This is eight o'clock. You can see these little spotty showers, uh, maybe a thunderstorm or two popping up. Anything that does develop will produce some heavy rainfall. So we need to be aware of that. Viper cast keeping it away from Chattanooga. So kids in Hamilton County may not have an issue with it, but uh, you can see maybe coming to the northern part of the county. So we'll keep an eye on that. Uh, spotty storms will continue to develop to our west and drift eastward. So on through the morning into the afternoon, certainly we could see some areas of heavy rain. Uh, lunchtime and on through the early afternoon, I'm looking at uh, Chattanooga being that being the best time of you getting some rainfall, but I would say on and off throughout the day, just keep one eye peeled toward the sky. A lot of you will go the entire day without a drop of rain and it's just going to be hot and muggy, but some of you may get a brief heavy downpour as we move through our school day and work day. By five o'clock on, we're going to take rain out of the forecast. We'll even see skies clearing as you're heading off to services or whatever you like to do on your Wednesday night. Thursday is going to be hot, muggy in the low 90s, but little to no chance of any rain on Thursday. And then Friday, a front's going to begin to settle over the Tennessee Valley. This is two o'clock in the afternoon. We're going to start to see some spotty showers and thunderstorms developing, becoming a little more widespread as that front uh, basically stalls over us through the day on Friday. It'll slide southward on Saturday and the rain chance on Saturday very low as high pressure builds in only a 20% chance of an afternoon shower or storm on Saturday and on Sunday as well. Very muggy today. Some spotty storms will have a high of 91 in Chattanooga, 93 in Dalton, 91 in Cleveland, and then partly cloudy tonight. Maybe one or two evening storms and then anything that's out there will quickly fade away after Sunday set 71 degrees overnight in Chattanooga, mid to upper 60s outside the city, low 60s all the way down to 61 in Murphy, North Carolina. Tomorrow again, little to no chance of rain, a high of 92. The heat index is going to be in the mid to upper 90s both today and tomorrow, and then we'll up our rain chance, 30% chance of afternoon showers and storms on Friday, and we'll knock it down to a 20% chance with highs in the low 90s on Saturday and Sunday, and we'll start next week basically the same way, way hotter than I like it. 92 on Monday, 93 on Tuesday.